everyone. Welcome back. Do you know about these all? Oh, okay. It doesn't matter if you don't know anything about it. Please watch the previous video and the link is given in the description box. Now you can enter the class. Hello my dear children. Today, we are going to learn basic geometrical concepts. There are five important things to learn about in this lesson. Point, line, line segment, rays, and angles. Okay, let's begin with point. The dot is called a point. Please take a unruled paper and pencil. Now make a dot on it with a pencil. This dot is called point. Actually, points are represented by the capital letters. So let's write capital A near the point what you did. Now this dot is called as point A. And do you know guys, a point has no size. What's next? Yes, line. A line or straight line has length only. Now please take a paper, pencil and ruler. Then, use the ruler to draw a straight line with arrowheads. That's like how I am doing. Then, please make the points, P and Q on the line. And now, this is called, line PQ. Do you know guys, a line has no end and no beginning. Okay, next what? Yes, line segment. A line segment is a part of a line. Now take a pencil and draw a straight line with ruler. Then, make two points with the name A and B. So this is a line segment, AB. Do you know guys, a line segment has two end points. Next what? Yes, rays. A ray is same like a line, but it is denoted by an end point and an arrow head. Now take a paper, pencil and ruler. Then, draw a ray like how I am doing. Then next, make two points. One at the end, and another one in any place on line. Then, name the points A and B. So, now this is a ray AB. And, do you know guys, a ray has one end point. What is the last one? Yeah, angles. When two rays, or, line segments, meet at the common point, it forms an angle. Okay guys, now, please take a paper and pencil. Here, we are going to use protractor to measure an angle at the end of this portion. So take that too. Then, draw a first ray with an arrow head and start drawing for the second ray from the end point of the first ray, as towards another direction. Next make three points like how I'm doing. And name the points as PQR. Guys, please note this points carefully. Here, these two rays are called, arms. The joining point of two rays are called, vertex. Then next measure the angle between two rays using protractor. Yes, it is 39 degrees. This is called an angle of rays, PQ and QR. So, the angle of PQR is 39 degrees. I hope you got practice to measure an angle using protractor. That's all about today's class. Yay! Hope you enjoy those moments with us. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.